All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. It is Brother Obadiah from New Wine Congregation, and I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right, Yahweh is the name of who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of who the world calls Jesus Christ. And, man, I just want to touch on something real quick um, while I'm on my break, right? So, I hear this all the time, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people um, hear this all the time as well, When you, especially when if you've been in this truth, you know, for a little minute. You hear all you hear people always say when you bring up the image of Christ, his true image, how he's a, how how he is a so called black man. When you bring up the true image of how of the Jews and who they is, how they were so called black. When you just bring up the truth of the Bible, period, in the, the 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 nationality of those people in today's time. When you bring that up to a Christian or just a lot of people in general, they tend to say everybody's equal. Right, it doesn't matter when we bring up Deuteronomy seven and six. Let me get that. This is one of the verses that we bring up a lot when we uh, when we are teaching. When you bring up Deuteronomy seven and six, this is a scripture to prove that um, everybody is not equal. That the Bible, um, that the Most High God has a chosen people. When you get Deuteronomy seven and six, for thou art holy people. Now, this speaking of Israel. When you go to Deuteronomy one and one, this is speaking about the Israelites. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So this is a scripture to show you that he chose the Israelites to be a special people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So this, this is a scripture to show that everybody can't be equal. Everybody can't be the same when this, this scripture is saying that he chose a people to be above not the same, not equal to. He chose a people to be above everybody else on the face of the earth. Now, when you go to Leviticus uh, 20 to 24, it said, I said 30, I mean 20. When you go to Leviticus uh, 20 to 24, Man, why I keep saying 30? Did I type 30 in? 20. All right, there you go. 20 through 24. But I have said unto you, ye shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it. He's speaking to Israel. A land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. Read, so he separated us, the Israelites, right? We are his, his holy set apart people. He separated us among from other people on the face of the earth. So how can everybody be equal when the Bible just said that the, the father separated the Israelites, his chosen people from everybody else on the face of the earth? It don't make sense. So then you have people say, and it's, 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 plenty, of the, it's plenty of the scriptures that, that, that show that um, the Israelites are the chosen people. Of course, he has a chosen people. He never forsake his people. But then you have people tend to say, well, it doesn't matter. Everybody's everybody's equal and everybody the same because everybody believes red that's what they people love to say everybody believes red everybody everybody is equal everybody is the same that's what you tend to hear but even even the so-called white man in his constitution they don't even believe that remember they said that you was you so-called black people they said that we was three-fifths of a, of, a, of, a, of a man they didn't even count us as a whole man. So even in their constitution, they don't even believe what they saying when they say everybody equal. The only reason the only reason why they say everybody equal is because you start bringing out the truth to them that these people in the Bible were so-called black people. So that's when they hit you where it doesn't matter. Everybody equal. God loves everybody the same. Everybody believes red. But I want y'all to think about this, man. And I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull some some proof up. Now if y'all just sit sit if y'all just sit and just think. All the creations that the, our Heavenly Father, the Most High God of Israel, all his creations that he created are different. None of his creations that he made are the same. When you look into nature, you have different animals. You have different type of dogs. You have different type of birds. Some birds can fly that he created. Some birds can't. Some birds be in the water. Some birds don't. You have different type of trees. You have different type of plants. You have different type of insects. 
but they all categorize in their own little world. Like you have, you have the dog world. Yes, you have dogs, but they different dogs. Some dogs have spots. Some dogs don't. Some dogs are fast. Some dogs uh, are not. Some dogs grow to get big. Some dogs don't grow to get big. They just stay small their whole life. You have different. His creations are different. Let me show y'all. You have different type of plants or different type of roses. I mean, I mean different type of uh, 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 yeah, different type of plants. You have different type of. Hold up. I'm the different dogs. See, you got dogs, right? Now, this these are the creations of the Heavenly Father. You have different type of dogs. You got German Shepherds. You got Boar Dogs. You got French Boar Dog. You got the Husky, the Beagle, um, the the Alaskan Malamute. Might have said that wrong. Poodle, uh, Chihuahua. So you got all these different type of dogs. Now, they all dogs. Just like we all like we all people. You got different races of people, but. Look at the creations of these dogs. They all different in their own way. A German Shepherd can do something that a Bulldog can't do. Or a Bulldog can do something that a German Shepherd can't do. But they different. Right? Now, different type, you got different cats. Look at all these different cats you got. Look at all these different cats you got with all these weird names. <laughs> but they all are cats, right? They all cats. But they different. They look different. Yeah, they bleed red, but they different. All right, you got different uh birds. Look at these different birds you got. Some birds lawful to eat. Some birds not lawful to eat, according to Leviticus 11. You got parrots that can talk. You know what I'm saying? Repeat what you say. A chicken don't do that. An owl can turn his head. I think he can turn his head all the way around. But a blue jay, I don't think, can do that. Pigeons, they can slide on their stomach, right? But a hummingbird can't. You got woodpeckers. I don't, I don't know if it, a woodpecker. They hit on wood. See that? Go right there. They hit on wood all the time. You got a crane. They different. Swan, see all these different type of creations that the Lord created? They different type of birds, man. Different. But they all birds, right? Are different plants. You got different plants. Everything is different when it comes to the Father's creations. They, they are unique. They are different. So why is it? Why is it when it comes to uh, the people or the human race, everybody likes to say, well, everybody equal. Every, everybody bleeds red. But if you look at all the creations that the Most High God created, they all different. So why would he get to the human race and be like, well, I'm making everybody the same? Every, all my other creations that I create, like everything else, you got different. Come on, man. Let's get to the lowest low. You got different uh, ants. You got a different type of ants, man. Look at that. Different type of ants. You got different type of sharks. Different type of sharks. So it, 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 it doesn't make sense, sense when people say everybody is the same when all the father's creations are different. Now, when you go to 2nd Ezra, when you go to 2nd Ezra, uh, Now, second Ezra is five. Tell you, now this is this is verse. This second Ezra is five and verse twenty three. It says, "And say, O Lord, that beareth rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof, that have chosen thee." The one only vine, right? So he chose out of all the trees on the wood on earth, he chose only one vine. And of all the lands of the whole world, thou have chosen thee one pit, 
and of all and uh and of all the flowers thereof one lily. Right? So he chose one pit to dwell, and the flower, his favorite flower is a lily. Now pause and let me go, I'm gonna come back to this. His favorite, his favorite flower is a lily. Now you got different type of you have different type of flowers. But the the father, he have he, he has uh he has things that he likes. Cause we think about it. We are we are made in the in the most high God's image. If we have favorite shoes that we like, we got a favorite outfit that we like, we got a favorite hat that we like. We have favorite things that we got things that we like better than other things. Or we may have we may like something and we might not like nothing else. We might like this thing, we might like this. Just say we might like this book bag that we got, but the other book bag you hate, you know, you don't like, you don't never wear. We we got that we got these feelings and emotions from the Most High because He has chosen things. We have a chosen flower that we like. We got a chosen fruit that we like. We got a, a favorite person that we like. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so we now when you go to second as go back to five, in verse. Uh, so his his favorite flower. If anybody was wondering. The Most High God' favorite flower is a lily, and it says, "And of all the depths of the sea, Thou hast filled thee one river, and of all builded cities, Thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself." So he has a favorite uh, river. I'm not sure. Uh, Thou hast filled thee one. All the depths of the sea, Thou hast filled thee one river. I'm not sure what the river is in this uh, this uh, account, but it says, "In all in of all builded cities, Thou hast hollowed." Zion unto thyself. So out of all the built cities, his city that he wanted that he he hollow in is Jerusalem. Right? He hollow in Jerusalem. That's the holy land. That's his land. That's his favorite land. And of all the fathers that he created, that had named thee one dove. So his favorite dove, I mean his favorite uh fowl of the air is a dove. So the most high God favorite creation of the fowls is a dove. If nobody if anybody didn't know that. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. So out of all the cattle that the Most High God created, his favorite one that he provided is a sheep. And you think about it on the spiritual level, we are the sheep, the Israelites. We are when you read Matthew 15 to 24, we are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we also we also are referred to as a sheep. And among all the multitudes of the people, now he getting to the people. Thou have gotten thee one people, and unto, unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that, it, that is approved of all. So who was the law given to? Who was with Moses receiving the law, statutes, and commandments, the Ten Commandments? The Israelites. So, the, so he's saying, especially when you read the book of Exodus, it lets you know that the Israelites were the people that received the law. He gave the law to the Israelites. He gave it to Moses, and Moses gave it to the Israelites. But it said, above all the multitude of the people, thou have gotten thee one people. Not all people. Not everybody on the face of the earth. This goes back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Out of all, out of all the people, he got one people. And unto the people whom thou loveth, he gave, a, he gave the law that is improved of all. You see what I'm saying? So the Israelites is that people. And his land that he dwell in is Zion. And his favorite fowl of the area is a dove, right? His favorite cattle is a sheep. So you, now you know some things that the Most High God like. So let me get this last scripture right here. When you go to Second Ezra, right? Second Ezra six. It's also proof that the Father has a chosen people. So don't let nobody tell you that everybody the same. It does. It just doesn't make sense for everybody to be every so-called human being to be the same when all his other creations are different. It don't make sense. Second Ezra 6 and 54. It say, And after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of thy, of all thy creatures of him come we all. Because this is another point that people like to say, well, everybody the same because we all come through Adam. Which Okay, everybody do come through Adam. But if you keep reading, it says, And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So this is proof that he got a chosen people. Yes, everybody come through Adam, but his chosen people. He got a, he still got a chosen people no matter what. It says, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because I made the world for our sake. So the Lord made, he originally made this earth for the Israelites' sake, man. 
And we're going to get this earth back soon. As for the other people, now it's speaking of the other people, which also come of Adam, the other nations of people that are not Israelites, that come from Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. The Bible said they are nothing. But be like unto spittle, which is spit, and has likened the abundance on them unto a drop that fall from a vessel. So the Most High God basically saying, man, these other nations are nothing. But you keep reading on, and now, O Lord, behold, this, the heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, the only begotten and thy forever lover, are given it to their hands. If the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess and inherit with, with the world? How long shall this endure? So they're like, man, these people that you made to be nothing, right? These servants, right? These slaves. Cause they, this is the reason why these other nations was created to serve Israel. But Israel didn't keep the commandments and the covenant that they made with God. So now we serving them. But they saying like, what's going on? These nations that you imputed to be nothing are over us and reign over us. And they own everything. We got to go to them for everything. They money on the, on the they, they face on the money. You got to go to them. If you want a loan, go to their banks. They teachers over us in the school system. It's like, what's going on? Cause we didn't cause we didn't keep God's commandments. But that just show you that He look at another people greater than another people than everybody else. Now, Ezra's got this from Isaiah, because Isaiah said the same thing when you read Isaiah 40 and 17. Isaiah said the same thing. It says Isaiah 40 and 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. So Isaiah was like, man, all these other nations, bro, all these nations that are not Israelites, these other nations that had us in captivity, the this, this so-called white uh, so-called white man, woman, and child, the so-called Arab man, woman, and child, the so-called Chinese man, woman, and child, the East Indian man, woman, and child, all these other nations. That had our people in, in slavery and has given our people hell in, today. The Bible said they are nothing. They are counted less than nothing in vanity. So how is everybody equal? Stop listening to society when they tell you everybody equal because everybody believe red. That don't even make sense. Or everybody the same because everybody believe red. It don't make sense. You have different type of birds. They bleed, but they different birds. You got different type of uh, uh, insects, or you got different type of dogs. They bleed, but they they different. They different. They're not they not equal. The most I can make all these different birds that bleed, but he still chose the dove over the rest of them. So everybody is not equal according to the Bible, man. These other nations are nothing compared to Israel. We'll never be on Israel level. And people got to understand that, man. So, Lord, when this video was edifying, bro, I just want to touch on this topic real quick, man, because I've been hearing this a lot. And when people say everybody equal, they don't, they don't, they're not coming off the Bible. They're coming off emotions and how they feel. But they never come out the Bible where they say everybody equal. That's, that's not in the Bible. And so, with that, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. I say shallow one, call me a swallow.